Hello, I'm Dana Crawford. Thank you for joining me today. I'm excited because I've been experimenting more and more with using Selling Manager, Selling Manager Pro from my dashboard, and it has actually made my life a lot easier, especially with my relisting um, items as an eBay seller. So today I wanted to do a little virtual online learning presentation and share with you the procedure that I use to uh, relist and edit my listings using bulk edit which is inside of Selling Manager. So again I'm Dana Crawford. I'm a certified education specialist trained by eBay and I travel around and teach eBay. So today I'm traveling around the internet teaching you with this virtual online learning presentation. So let's get started. Okay, so let's start at the top of at eBay.com. At the top right hand corner is My eBay. When I hold my cursor over the words My eBay, a drop down box appears with all of these options. Now, generally, I just click on My eBay and it goes to My eBay area, but for this example, I'm going to click on Summary. And then this is my summary page. So now I'm going to go off to the left and I'm going to click on Unsold Items. This page is actually customizable. You can change the colors, but that's another class. But I'm going to scroll down to look for Unsold Items. Here we go. So we have Active. I have 171 as of today and unsold there are 30 in my unsold folder so we're going to go ahead and click those now the interesting thing on this list is when it pulls these in it's it shows all whether they've been relisted or not it's going to show your unsold items so a lot of these i do have relisted already so i'm going to adjust this view to not relisted and that'll bring it down to 12 items all right now we have the 12 items that have recently ended and they have not been relisted yet so I'm going to go ahead and click the top box which will highlight all of them and I want to relist them as a fixed price some were auction, some were fixed price, but now I want to list them all as a fixed price. So I'll click on relist at fixed price. And I was working on one earlier, but now I want to replace that one and start a new demonstration. So the system is pulling in those 12 items into this bulk edit tool. Now the first thing we noticed is eBay makes suggestions to us. So there's little flags and little information boxes. So at the top it's showing two, two, bar, two taps. The first one shows errors and warnings. I have seven. Listing improvement recommendations, seven. So they all have issues. Well, seven of them. And you can go down and you can click that plus box and the plus in front of the little uh, warning or information improvements and they're saying to make your title more descriptive and encourage buyers to view your listing you and these keywords medium and they're they're suggesting that I add the word medium to the title which is great you can take or leave these little suggestions that eBay makes but it's nice to take a look at what they suggest to make your listing, um, we filled in buy it now price based on your starting price. So you can see, you can open up these little windows and take or leave what they suggest. It's your call, it's your business. Now off to the right, you'll notice these are columns. There's This is the standard one, which is new, or there's the next one. Well, these are all kind of new, which will have which will put all of them over here and then each individual listing so I can go to the description box and adjust what I need to adjust in this view. 
I can adjust to the next view, which pulls it out so I can actually see the title. I can adjust what I need to adjust off to the right, starting with the category. If I want to change the category for uh, the title and then view eBay's recommendations from this area as well. And also, I can't stress enough when I'm teaching eBay to make sure you have all information and flaws, I mean all flaws, in that condition description box. Okay, and we can view all of them this way. Now, I this also is customizable. You can click on Customize Columns. So you can pick and choose what you want to look at each time that you log in. So I like to have the UPC in case I need to add it, the title, the photos, buy it now price, the starting price, quantity, duration, condition, format, last modified. I don't need that in there. I can take that one out. So I just highlight it and then remove it. The fees. And these were the items that I picked. There's all kinds of choices here. Again, you can choose which way that you would like them, which order. I'm actually going to put mine in the order of starting price and ascending. Apply changes, and now it'll recalculate so that every time I log in, they will be set up in this manner. Now, I like the first view, this is my favorite. Now, the first thing eBay's recommending with the little flag is we filled in the buy it now base price based on the starting price you set for the ended auction. So those items that I had auctions for, they started my, they created that as my buy it now. Now I actually have different ideas than they do on my buy it now. So I can individually click the buy it now area and adjust what I need to adjust. So like the salt and pepper shakers, I want to change that to $24.99 and then go to the next one. Let's see, let's close that little window. There we go. Uh, the shoes are fine. Actually, I want to get rid of those. We're going to lower that to $19.99. The Hollister. We're going to up that one. Now that was an auction. I'm now changing it to buy it now. This was a coffee mug. was 99 cent auction. It didn't work out. I'm going to switch it to 14.99. That one's fine. Teacups fine. Um, this was a Hollister. I'm going to switch that one to. Oh, let's go with. 19.99. I actually have a couple of those, so I want to get rid of them. This one, I'm going to switch to 19.99. Coffee mug. We'll leave that one. The clown shoes. Everybody should have a pair of clown shoes. Let's switch it to 29.99. And then the turkey salt and pepper shakers, I'm going to switch to 32. And that's the decision I made on those items. Now, the next thing I want to do is I like to have best offer. So to save time, I'm just going to highlight over to the left. I'm going to check mark the box at the top. And now I'm going to click on edit fields. So let's go with, um, these are all of the things that I could choose to edit. Well, first, let's go with format and duration. I'm going to change all of them to, well, they're all buy it now, but just to be safe, let's just do fixed price. And then I'm going to change them all to good till canceled. Save and close. And now it'll adjust all 12 of those listings that the duration will be good till canceled. All right, that's done. Now the next thing I want them all to have is best offer. So buy it now price, no change, best offer, add to all. 
and I don't want to do the auto accept or decline if I wanted to, if I wanted to change the quantity, but the, all I'm changing is to add best offer, save and close. So all 12 of my listings now will be available for people to make an offer. Now you can also see if you scroll over, eBay is recommending prices on these. Again, you can take or leave it. It's interesting sometimes, like I have $24.99. This is a brand new with tags top, but eBay's recommending $11. So if I click on that, they say these typically sold between $9.99 and $14.99. So again, you can take or leave it. You can say, you know what, maybe I was a little too high on that. I'm going to go down to um, $22 even and take a chance that way. So it's nice to, to compare and again take or leave it I look over at all of my other information here but all I'm here to do was those things now eBay is making recommendations on five items view all items that don't meet service requirements as top rated seller discount well I definitely want to see which one that is oh so how did I miss that let's see what eBay suggests oh I should have one day handling of course so let me edit handling time I must have missed that somewhere so let me adjust that one business day perfect and I should automatically have return let me double check my return policy to make sure oh returns are accepted always save and close actually okay so now everything is has met in that area. Now I'll go back, uncheck that box, and all my listings should pull back in. Hopefully. Where did they go? All right, well, when this happens, let's try switching the views. I think my computer is running slow, actually. Um, now that pulled in the five. I'm going to clear filters. There we go. That was a trick. <laughs> Click on clear filters. Whew. Now they're recommending title recommendations, and if I have time, I'm going to go ahead to make more description buyers add these keywords 100%. Okay, I don't I don't want to add that to my title. Cotton blend wire free. No, I'm not interested in that. Okay, so now I'm going to submit all. I'm mean, just to be safe. I always highlight to make sure they're all highlighted, and I click on submit all. And now it's telling me that it's going to cost me 30 cents. Now I've learned that when they have a sale or if I get free listings, it, it'll actually tell me on here that it's going to cost that much. But when I check my bill, it actually did not cost that much. So it just depends. If I want to save these to my template, I could do that as well. I'm going to click confirm and submit. And let's see how long. 10, 9, 8 seven six seconds they are live finish so in six seconds I was able to relist 12 items not a bad day of work okay so that's all there is to it as you can see using this bulk edit tool you can do um, you can edit you can bulk edit your items a lot faster and save you a lot of time. Back in the day, I'm sure those seasoned sellers can remember how we used to click on each item and it would take us hours and days to relist or edit our, our listings. Sometimes when eBay makes changes where we're, we're required to change something, now, boom, no problem. We go into our bulk edit. We can adjust everything that's required of us and take care of it in a few minutes. So
So that's it. My name is Dana Crawford. Thank you for joining me on this virtual online learning presentation. You can visit my eBay store at ASKDANNA.com and take a look at those items that I have just listed. Thanks for tuning in, and until next time, happy eBay selling.